All right. Well, hello YouTube. I'm back here with the battery I replaced, or rather restored, with aluminum sulfate and distilled water back a couple months ago, kind of at the end of the summer. I think it's like December 1st or 2nd right now. I think it's December 2nd right now. About 39 or 8 degrees, maybe a little less. But it's been colder uh, a couple weeks ago. And it's in the car that it originally came out of when I bought it a few years, four years ago. Sat for about five, six years. Uh, the battery's never been replaced since then. <clears throat> and uh, if you recall my other video, this battery worked beautifully in the middle of the summer, late summer, late fall. Every time I went to start it, it would start right up. Always had about 12 and a half volts every time I looked at it, uh, measured it. But anyway, we're going to see if it starts this car. This car has actually not moved in a few months due to the fact that the one of the shifter cables is broke. So I can't get into first gear, which in this car you really need first gear. You shouldn't start it in second gear at all. Um, <clears throat> I was going to sell this car, but no one wanted it. Uh, partly because I forgot to put it up for sale until very late in the year. And then something broke, so I took it off. But anyway, I'm going to check and see what kind of uh, volts we got here. I have not once even looked at this. Alright, so that should be enough to start a car, right? 11 volts. <laughs> just take that off. Just... Should be enough, right? Now we're not taking into account, I don't have a load tester for my battery, so we're not going to take into account cranking amps, cold cranking amps, because I don't <coughs> have no way of measuring that. Okay. Now, I've, the key was in here just for convenience sake, but I haven't actually started it in probably four months and it's just been sitting here and it's gotten cold you can see I've been I gotta get all this apart in here but it ain't a big deal so okay fuel pumps on I'm pushing the clutch oh, that's not good leave that in there actually I want to try one more thing so obviously we heard I can hear a little click behind me I don't know if you guys can but there's a little tiny click let's just see if the windows they are going down ever so slowly <laughs> like I can hear the motor but it's really not even moving so what have we learned I think what we learned is that if you're in a pinch you can restore a battery with aluminum sulfate and water and it will work but how long it will work I don't know now the guy who uh, did it in the video I watched he actually did this in the middle of winter and it started a truck in the middle of winter and I think he <laughs> did a video months later and it still worked but yeah I wouldn't say everyone's gonna get the same result I mean, this worked beautifully up until apparently recently. I mean, I don't even know. I haven't, I haven't even tried to start the car in, in like at least three months. But <clears throat> for about three months when I had it going, it worked beautifully. I mean, every single time it would start right up. When the old, this battery before I did this could, wouldn't even keep, I mean, every, you might, if you charge it up for like a day, you could start it, but then a half hour later it'd have like three volts. So as we saw, this had enough volts to start the car, but. I'm pretty sure like the cranking amps are probably just almost non-existent anymore, right now at least. And I might actually post a video where I charge this up, put in like a two day uh, two amp charge or something like that, a 24 hour two amp charge, see what happens, you know. But I mean in a pinch, I just wanted to sell this car and not have to buy like a, spend over $100 on a new battery just to get rid of the thing. So I mean it worked beautifully, so hopefully in the spring, uh, maybe I'll try it again and uh, if, if actually it, you know, it sucks in the spring too or in the warmer weather. But uh, I might post a follow-up just um, after charging it to see if it makes a difference. But <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I can't guarantee everyone's going to get the same results. When I first did it, I was like, holy crap, this actually worked. And uh, 
you know, I've seen a couple of people successful at it. Like I said, this is it's only um, a little bit less than 40 degrees here right now. And the other guy, I mean, he was in the middle of winter and, and it worked. So, huh. kind of wish uh, it <laughs> it started. I really do. Um, since I still don't want to buy a new battery in the spring, but that's okay. Um, might just have to. I might, who knows? I might even keep the freaking thing. I don't know. It's a cool car. It really is. Just sometimes just get these cars give you a lot of problems, but I've kind of been lucky with this one. <laughs> so that's that. So take whatever you want from it. I mean, I'm not gonna say <laughs> it certainly worked for a little bit, and who knows? I mean, I've only done this once. Maybe I'll try it again, and it will be okay. You know, work for a longer time or in colder temperatures. But you know, if you're in a pinch and you don't, and you got the time to do this, which probably takes about a day with waiting and stuff like that, because you want to do it a uh, you want to charge it up on a low amps uh, setting is what you want to do and then you got to drain it I just put it in a car and put the headlights on for a half hour and died and then you charge it again so if you got a little bit of time and, and it's not your daily driver and you don't need to get a battery right now and the weather's decent you know I would do it <laughs> but at some point you might have to buy that battery so we'll see what happens with this I'm a little bit disappointed but you know hey it worked for a couple months in the summer, which is when I need to move this thing all the time in and out of my garage or in driveway and stuff like that. You know, I never drove this thing in the winter anyway, so not a big deal, but I'll see if I can get a, a follow-up uh, when I charge it, which probably won't be for a little bit, so maybe I'll wait till the temperatures drop a little bit more here, and we'll see what happens. So, yep, like I said, take uh, whatever you want from it, but uh, <laughs> I'm certainly taking a lot from this. Um, I don't know if this will be my method in the future, but... Hey, you know, it, uh, you try something new and it works, you feel a little bit successful and then some, I mean, other people, this might not happen to them, I don't know, so give it a try, let me know, let me know if it works for you, let me know what your results were, if you, if you even feel like it, I mean, I don't know how many people are actually going to see this video, but, <laughs> um, alright, I'm just going to sign off, thanks for watching.